Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James with The Chart Guys. It is Tuesday, April 17th. I'm gonna do my nightly video on gold. Uh, so gold, I'm expecting some consolidation here overnight, uh, especially with this inside candle at the top breaking bearish here. Uh, looking at the next support here uh, for future traders at 1348.60. I did like the fact that it did break this resistance here. Um, so we had this pullback. We had the, the high of the bounce and had another further pullback, but uh, bulls were able to break that today at 1346.70. Looking at the four hour, looking at the four hour, I uh, want to take out this, this res next resistance here at 1353.50 on this four hour gold chart. Um, you can see that now we've we have uh, we've created support down here at 1340.20. So any pullback on this four-hour chart, want to uh, hold the support at 1340.20. So watching 1340.20 support and what, going to be watching resistance here at 1353.50 um, for the short-term future here on gold. Looking at the hourly. So hourly is still forming lower highs, lower high. Uh, it did break this resistance, but I uh, really would like to see gold on any consolidation here from a higher low above 1340.20 and then um, break above this 13, 1351.60 on this hourly resistance. Looking at the US dollar, again, four hour on US dollar. It's been a nice zone area like I spoke about in last night's video when it reaches at near that 30 RSI. Uh, we got right above it and we started to bounce on this US dollar. This US dollar bounce is still not that significant for the bulls. Um, bulls are still forming a, a lower high here at this point on the on the four hour chart after forming a lower low here. And so for bulls to see continuation, they need to break the high of today of 89.666. And for bears, they obviously want continuation to break below 89.229, the low of today. I'll be watching the hourly chart here on the US dollar. The hourly chart here is pulling back here um, from the highs here. And same thing the gold candle has. It had an inside candle and it's breaking bear on that. It broke bear on the inside candle at the top here. So I'll be watching for support here at 89.407 and see if, if, if bears are able to take that uh, support out if gold can continue its move higher. Uh, looking at silver chart, I get, I'm getting, getting some requests for silver here. So silver daily here has had this uh, daily downtrend line for quite a while now. And even yesterday got above it, thought we might break above it. And every time it's closed below it. But today we did close above it. Look at the increasing bull volume on silver on the close above um, the, this, this downtrend line on the daily. And so the next resistance we'll be watching for here on the silver chart is going to be this high here of 1689. Looking at the weekly, weekly uh, needs to break 16.735 to form a higher high at this point on the weekly um, and break that resistance to see if we can start moving up further. The silver chart on that daily after consolidating for just basically moving in, in within a range for so long is finally, it is breaking that, that downtrend line. So that is significant and it is breaking that downtrend line on increasing uh, bull volume. So looking at the miners, let's look at GDX first. Miners today, yesterday you can notice that miners were weaker than gold. Today uh, seemed a little bit stronger than gold to me and looking at the miners, next resistance to break. After, once they broke the they uh, they broke the high of yesterday by a tad bit. I would like to see the the next resistance break of 2305 for a GDX um, support because of the nice strong day. We'll be looking at first hourly support here down here at 22.84. Must hold is obviously going to be the low of. Uh, pre-market for me at 22.61. And for those, if you want to use a daily candle, it's going to be the low of the daily candle at 22.62. GDXJ. 
GDXJ had a little bit of a stronger break, and the next resistance is basically we have 33.82 and have 33.82, so the double top here at 30. 33.82 uh, for GDXJ bulls to break tomorrow. That's a clear resistance level now. Now with that double top on the hourly as well as the daily uh, support. First support, uh, hourly support here at 33.59. Uh, then 33.46, the low of the day here at 33.27. Must hold is gonna be this pre-market low for me at 33.24 on this hourly. Again, Still waiting really for this monthly to play out here. Where is the monthly chart? Do I not have a monthly chart? Is this, um, is this monthly equilibrium pattern that I'm watching on the junior miners? High, low, high, uh, lower, high, higher, low, lower, high, higher, low, lower, high. And we're getting tighter and tighter. And um, we are getting a monthly inside candle here, a bull break on increasing bull volume on the junior miners. So that's something significant to be watching for, especially if we can break uh, to a higher high above 36.08. So I'm definitely keeping my eye on on the junior miners at this point on this inside monthly bull break. I'm going to see if GDX has a monthly inside bull break as well. GDX, the, the senior miners as well, inside candle, we're getting a bull break on increasing bull volume. So have a good night and I will see you tomorrow.